Hello, welcome to a 3DS Max tutorial. What we're going to be doing is lofting, and what a loft is, is a compound object that takes two uh, lines or two dimensional shapes, like a circle or a square, and turns them into a three dimensional object. So, step one is to open up 3DS Max, and you'll be greeted by the usual interface. Uh, now just to set this up, uh, click on the shapes button of the create panel and click on circle. And do this in the front viewport. Make a circle like this and then make a rectangle like this. Uh, go to the geometry button, click on the flyout compound objects, and with this square selected, click Loft. You'll be greeted with this, and uh, what you'll do is creation method, get shape, and click on the circle. What you've just made is a tubular square. So circle plus square equals rounded tubular square. Control Z out of this. Uh, click on the circle, loft, get path, and the square. And again, you'll see you get the same thing. The difference between get path and get shape is that uh, a shape is a closed line with more than two sides, so it has to be like a triangle at least, and a path is a line. We'll be doing this now. So we'll control Z and click anywhere. Go to your shapes, click on line or arc, preferably. Open your top, zoom in a little bit, click anywhere, and just click like this. Make a big bulgy thing like that. New perspective viewport, go back to geometry, loft, click on the square. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to click on the square first. Loft, get path, and click on the uh, arc. And you'll see you have a square in an arc shape. I know, pretty amazing. Uh, control Z until you just have your three uh, shapes. Delete the circle and the square. Because now that we have a basic understanding of how loft works, we can move on to something more advanced. Specifically text. And text is a great thing to loft because it's good for logos and it's good for all sorts of stuff like that. So make the size a bit smaller because our arc is not so big. Okay, so change the text to something that you'd want. Uh, we're going to change it to hey! exclamation mark. As you can see, it says, hey, we'll do create uh, geometry loft, uh, get path, and choose the arc shape. And as you can see, just like with the box, we have a arc in the shape of hey, and it looks very nice. And if something's wrong, which sometimes there might be, loft isn't always 100% perfect. You can go into skin parameters and turn on optimize shapes, which is a big difference, kind of makes everything a little bit uh, better. If everything's inside out, click on flip normals, ours isn't. And if something's really weird, you might want to turn down or turn up the shape steps and the path steps. If you turn this down to like one or zero, you get a really boxy shape. But we want to have a nice smooth curve. So turn that up to 5 or 6 or 7. Now that we know how to loft text, and we can see the effect that has, uh, control Z until you get back to the uh, text and arc by themselves. We're going to do a word all in individual text, all lofted individually. So get rid of the arc and get rid of the text. Go to shape. Make a new text, uh, 
edit it so that it's just H. Make a new text. Edit it so it's just E. A new text. Edit that so it's just Y. And a new text. Edit that so it's just exclamation mark. Right click to get out of that. And make a rectangle, circle, whichever one you want. We're going to do circle that's what I want. Make it as big as you want. Smaller is better for dealing with small shapes. Go to geometry and with the um, H selected, loft, get shape, circle. Right click, click. Okay, so uh, change this E to a capital E and change this Y to a capital Y. With this done, uh, make the E loft get shape circle. Right click Y loft get shape circle. Right click exclamation mark loft get path circle. And the circular exclamation mark doesn't really matter. Now you have individual letters made out to be like this. Hey, check me out. I'm the greatest. Now all your friends will know that you're the greatest. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. Loft is a pretty handy tool, but also extremely temperamental and frustrating at times. So make sure you practice with it a lot and know when to use it. Thanks for watching and check out some more tutorials.